any fives there using Berserk mode, uh, 1847, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score, that should be green there. 4,000 gears for my opponent, that's really, really good. It says decent connection there, decent, but not perfect. Obviously, you want to win games fairly and squarely, not through an internet connection issue. So hopefully it's nice and stable for my opponent the whole game along. So we're just playing a normal Caro here. I know I keep saying I need to mix the openings up. I don't know all that many openings, so I don't mix them up very often. But I need to do something to vary it a little bit. Just all mainline standard stuff, this. Bring the knights up, get castled. Yeah, I might play a few Sicilians now and again instead of the Caro, just to mix up. If the games go wrong, they go wrong. It'll just be variety. I'll have to start doing that, maybe. So we're just going to try and bring the bishop up if we can. He could play h3, which he's done. So we can't do that. So I can either do this, develop and castle this way, or I can go g6 with a view to the bishop coming out later on. It depends what I want to do with the bishop. Mm. I'm actually going to go this way, and I'm going to just reserve this position and maybe bring the bishop up later on it. Maybe not perfect, so there's a chance it more of a chance it might go wrong playing it this way. Let's just see. Now is my opponent gonna go queen side here? Might do. I guess I could play queen up here, very natural move. Um queen up or queen up if takes, I can take back, so that's fine. Maybe I've got knight forward as well, actually. If you take, I take and I kick the knight, don't I? Take, take, we hit the pawn. So knight forward is a move, but the trouble is you can just simply get the queen out of the way and I don't force anything. But it's still a move though. I'm going to do it just because it's a move, but I'll probably end up having to retreat quickly. But I'm just looking at a move like queen up or check. Queen back, check, knight up. Maybe we trade. Let's just see. The queen comes forward. Okay. So again, I can check up and I can still take. Okay, I'm just wondering whether to take. If I take here, that's probably going to be a disaster with a knight coming in. So is e5 a move then? Or well, bishop up now with a view to knight coming back. That could be useful, couldn't it, actually? I like the look of that. Bishop up might tempt g4. Then I'll drop back. How aggressive does white want to be? I can throw a check and you get a development move. I can go here, hit the pawn. Actually, that looks sensible here. Castles, take. Knight up. We could get into a spot of bother, couldn't we? I'm not sure here, so I'm looking at check. But no, I'm going to go here and hit the pawn. Got to be a bit careful here. He takes, I'll take back. What you don't want is the queen here with the knight here, of course. If I lose a pawn here, I really don't care. If we get rid of the bishop, okay, it's a pawn, still a pawn, but we're getting rid of his bishop, and we're still attacking a pawn here. So let's see what he does. So he's played the knight up, okay. So can we simply take here, and we hit the knight, and we hit the rook? Has he blundered? Is that a blunder? Because here... If you take the knight, I can take with a check. Maybe you can simply step up. Maybe he's not blundered, but it's a gain a pawn, lose a knight. Gain a knight. I still hit two pieces on the rook. Here. I think he's made a mistake. I'm not sure if he's blundered, but I think it's a mistake. It's very dangerous, though, isn't it? But if he simply castles a take, yeah, he's gone for that route. Okay, so I thought I could just take here. If the king steps up, I can take the other one. But am I getting checkmated? Possibly. Let's take anyway. If you go here, I can maybe check and just trade here. Or I can just try and grab the rook. So that's what he's done. So I can throw a check in here. I can throw a check in here and try and drag this back. But I can throw a check in here to double these pawns up. Or I can simply connect the rook. But then I'm a bit out of the game. So what's his knockout blow? I don't see it, so I'm going to take... But I could be getting checkmated. It could be a really dangerous attack coming. I've got to get the queen back, right? But there's no easy, obvious way to do it. 
So maybe I come all the way back. There's nothing obvious. So I'm going to bring the queen all the way back, but he's got four pieces stacked up against my king with not really anything defending it. So it could be, could be a bit sketchy. E5 looks sensible though. So can we get your move like E5 in? Threatening a check. <clears throat> Knight four to hit my rook, that's fine. I don't mind that. I hope anyway. So I'm looking at bishop up here. I mean, at least it's connected, isn't it? Now again, if he plays a move like knight down, I can take here with a check. Or maybe even with a queen, I don't know. If he takes here, I can take back. So what is it? Queen, rook, rook, bishop, knight. Queen, bishop, knight, knight. So we're a piece up. It's whether we can avoid getting checkmated. That's the problem. If we can avoid getting checkmated, we're a piece up. So if he takes, we should be okay to take back. If that knight moves anywhere, we've got a check threat. He pushes forward, so we might have just given him a free piece back for nothing, not paying attention. Oh boy, that's careless, isn't it? Mmm, that's careless putting it mildly. Completely felt like better, and then I just chucked it away. What have I done? Hmm, I'm looking at knight up now then. I'm going to play knight forward. I'm not really focused this game. I don't know why I should be. <clears throat> I guess if I give a piece back and then an exchange back, we're back to level again. Really, really odd, isn't it? Really odd. But again, if he doesn't trade here and he moves the knight, I can drop back. If he takes here, I think I can just take the knight. Hmm, he has done. So I thought I could just take the knight here. I'm not sure I should though, but I'm going to. I'm going to give the rook back. Ah, rook across could be a threat actually. Rook across could be a threat. What do they do here? If he goes with a king, maybe I just check and I can come back or I can take. But if I take here, danger alert, danger alert. He's gone with a queen. So rook across actually creates a checkmate threat. He's got no one move check except a knight here. If he takes, he blunders check. Is it an actual checkmate? Check here. It is. And I can get my rook across. Okay, if this pawn moves, it, it hangs the knight coming in for everything, but it's easy to miss that as a threat. And he has missed it. So I think it's checkmate. You can see why he would see that, because it's a really big threat. I think it's just mate next move. The king's got no squares. Okay, let's just double check that. But there's no squares for the king, is there? No, it's checkmate. A really, really weird game, that, isn't it? Really weird. Let's put it through the engine. I suspect the accuracy won't be very good for this for both of us, even though it's only 21 moves and a checkmate. I suspect it won't be brilliant, but let's just see. We might have played a genius game, but I rather suspect not. <clears throat> I certainly was out of theory early there, so I need to really brush up on my theory in these games. It's looking good so far, though. We're much better than the whole end game, though. We've gained an advantage, and we've just seen it through cleanly. Oh, we have played it really well, actually. 94% versus 77%. 17 centi That's just a couple of inaccuracies. So I did play it pretty well, then. So I've made a couple of inaccuracies here, so I shouldn't have castled. So in this position, I should have played knight to e4 immediately instead of castling. And then in this position, I did play knight to e4, and I should have taken the bishop first and actually allowed the queen here with the potential for the knight to come along. That's a very scary position. It doesn't give the full line there. But it's saying I should take... Obviously, you can turn the engine on and you can go through this, um, go through this yourself in your own game. So it's saying this is actually fine. Then I've got lots of moves like queen to b6, just ignore this because you're guarding it so it's not an immediate quick threat. Just go developing and we're plus, plus one and a bit better. But in the end it turned out very well but it was a very one of them games where it felt like it could have gone anywhere but we got a good win.